Hello, everyone. Whether you are in human resources, a manager, or an employee, understanding the compound ratio concept will help you understand why the company pays you what they do and whether an adjustment may be warranted. In this video, you will learn what is compound ratio, how to calculate it, and how do you use it for pay decisions. So, what is compound ratio? This is the formula for compound ratio. Compound ratio is also called comparison ratio. To get a staff's compound ratio, divide their salary by the midpoint of their pay band. Compound ratio tells you how far a staff's salary is from the midpoint of their job level's pay band. So, what is a pay band? The pay band is the pay for a group of jobs at the same job level. It is developed based on the market data and the organization's pay strategy. Most organizations position their midpoint, this midpoint, at the market median. This is job level one pay band from 420 to 780. Job level one's midpoint is 600. This is job level two pay band, which is ranges from 700 to 1,300, and its midpoint is 1,000. Your staff will typically be paid at different rates within this pay band because everyone has different skills and experience. If your salary is 7,700 and the midpoint of your pay band is 1,000 like here, your compound ratio is 0 0.7. You take 700 divided by 1,000. If your salary is like but 1,000 and the midpoint of your pay band is 1,000, your compound ratio is 1. 1,000 divided by 1,000 is 1. If your salary is 1,003 and the midpoint of your pay band, which is job level 2, is 1,000, then your compound ratio is 1.3 because 1,003 divided by 1,000 is 1.3. So your salary, where your salary is depends on your experience and your performance. So if your compound ratio is 0 0.7, it means that your pay is 70% from the midpoint of the pay band. Here, people here, are developing competencies and need guidance. So at compound ratio in this range, the staff may not fully meet the performance expectations. Typically, entry level or newly promoted staff are packed around compound ratio 0 0.7, around the minimum here. So for compound ratio between 0 0.85 to 1.15, for example, these are people who are typically fully competent independently performs all job responsibilities and they meet the job expectations. People who are at premium pay, which is around this compound ratio, they are usually highly competent with critical skills and value institutional knowledge. And usually they exceed the performance requirements. Now, if your compound ratio is less than 1.0, less than this 1.0, it may not mean that you are underpaid. You may be overpaid. If your manager assess that you are your performance is at 0 0.7 compound ratio, but you are paid at 0 0.8 compound ratio, then you may be considered overpaid. Similarly, if your pay is at 1.2 compound ratio, you may still be underpaid if your experience and performance is at compound ratio 1.3. So everyone have different skills and experience. And hence, most people will have different pay and different compound ratio even if they are at the same job level. 
So how do you use compound ratio for pay decisions? Compound ratio tells you how far a staff salary is from the midpoint of their pay band. And most staff pay should differ based on their experience, skills, and performance as defined by this box here. So as a recap, this the bottom level of the salary range here is for people who are developing competencies and need guidance. And they may not fully meet the performance expectations because usually they are new hires or maybe um, newly promoted for the job. Then as time goes by, they may become fully competent and independently performs all the job responsibilities meeting the job expectations. So they, they are meet, their compound ratio will be around one. And through, as time goes by, they may become, may become highly competent with critical skills and value institutional knowledge, and they may exceed their ex performance expectations. That's where their pay will be at a higher end, probably near 1.3. So how do we use compound ratio for pay decision? Let's go through a few examples. So for example, Pete. Pete here is our staff. His current salary is 1,100. And his compound ratio at job level 1 is 1.1. How do I get 1.1? This is the formula. Take his salary 1,001 divided by 1,000 is 1 1.1. So if I want to promote Pete from job level 1 to job level 2, what should I give him? So I would give him a 9% increment to bring his salary from 1,001 to 1,002. So how did I come up with 1,002? Because of internal equity. At job level 2, Pete's experience and skill is less than Wendy. Right? At this job level 2, it's less than Wendy. Hence, Pete's salary should be lower than Wendy's salary. So that's one thing that I consider, internal equity. Also, when we promote Pete, his compound ratio at job level 2, the higher job level 2, should be lower than his compound ratio at job level 1. So initially, at job level 1, his compound ratio is 1.1. At job level 2, his compound ratio with this new salary is 0 0.96. How I get this? So I take this salary, 1,200, that I'm proposing divided by the midpoint of job level 2, 1,250 is 0.96. So when you promote a person, their compound ratio should drop. Right? Once, because once Pete is promoted to job level 2, he will need guide, guidance as he needs to learn and develop the competencies for the higher job level 2. Next, second example, let's look at Dave. Dave is an external candidate that I want to hire at job level two. I will look at internal equity when deciding on the pay for Dave. What salary to offer Dave depends on Dave's skill and experience relative to my other staff here. So if I have assessed Dave's skill and experience is slightly higher than that of Wendy here. I will offer him a salary of 1,004, which is slightly higher than Wendy's salary of 1,312. Next, Gwen is another external candidate that I want to hire at job level two. In terms of internal equity, Gwen's skills and experience is higher than that of John, all right, but lower than that of P. So the pay band is the pay for the job. This whole pay band is the pay for this job level two. As Gwen's salary is far below the minimum pay band for job level two, min the minimum is 875, I will offer her a salary of 875 to bring her to the minimum salary of this job level two. 
So her salary is 760. I could have offered her 10%, but I want to pay her to the pay band for this job, which is which where the minimum is 875. So this is the salary that I will offer Gwen. All right, that's it. I have explained what is compound ratio and how do you use it for pay decision. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you will get notified about similar videos that we upload. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.